Hi, everyone. My name is Chime Presuth. I'm the co-founder and executive director for the Goodfoot Arts Collective. Um, and our mission um, for the Goodfoot, which is the youth violence prevention through arts education. Um, and our mission statement is to see young people and youth equipped to end violence before it begins, to see them expressive in the arts and transformative movement, um, and to be empowered to reach their full potential uh, through mentorship and to be educated to advocate in their community. Hi everyone, I'm Louis Presuth. I am the other co-director and currently our programs in operation is CLAY, which stands for Creative Leaders Affirming Youth that we operate within the Seattle Public School Systems. And we do a curriculum on domestic violence prevention. And we have our youth collective that meets at our program site. And we also have our dance classes um, as well. Some of the ways that Impact 100 Seattle has really helped support and have a larger impact on our organization this year um, is two things. Is One is to really support operation costs with our staff salaries and the build out of our new space. Also, the last thing is um, just given beyond the check where we have a buddy, um, ours is Heidi, and she has been very instrumental and in help us tie resources that are outside of just funding, but to help us find ways that we can be more successful and sustainable in our organization. And I'd just like to speak on how unrestricted dollars help, will continue to help our organization. It helps us to strengthen our infrastructure and ongoing training for our staff to stay current and relevant in regards to cultural competency and equity work. And, and really just gives us the freedom and the flexibility to meet needs as, they, as, um, as it emerges within teen culture indirect service as well. So for example, it would be immediate support for mental health, basic needs, housing, food resources, and any students who are um, having to deal with domestic violence in the home. Some of our current activities that we would love to share about is we are in the tail end of our first year with our youth collective um, programming mentorship um, through artivism. So art and activism put together that young people can use art to be expressive, find social emotional literacy and healing centered engagement um, through photography, spoken word, um, a cohort with the No Excuses campaign, which is to give voice against toxic toxic relationships and toxicity and sexual violence in the community, as well as the hip hop community. Um, and then also through dance um, and advocacy, uh, having leadership development in our creative leaders affirming youth programming in the high school. Um, we also got to come together to from a two year pandemic hiatus to have our For the Love of It back to school uh, dance competition and advocacy that we just had two weeks ago, which was super successful. Over 350 um, folks from the community attended. And then the more exciting thing is that this year we are able to partner with Aki Karose. Um, right now we're formalizing the partnership and writing curriculum for middle school um, and that they're opening up a space to have the Good Foot as an elective class um, during second semester in school hours.